Hi, Rob Linnart here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and we are bringing you Sunday specials for December 11th and 12th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. We've got a solid Spanish lineup for you this week. Two whites, two reds. We're going to start with the 2021 As Lashes Valdo Sosego Alvarino. Now, Alvarino, a white grape known for its aromatic floral characteristics. Here, the floral component may be just a little bit restrained, but up front, great. Fresh stone fruits, nice white peach. I was getting a bit of a pear note to this wine. As it carries through on the palate, a classic note of lime or lemon zest starts to show up. Good, crisp, brisk attack on this wine. Mineral, sort of slightly salty saline finish. A very complete, very easy drinking white from the far northwest of Spain. Next up, we're heading a little further inland into Spain for the 2020 Nicia Las Suertes Verdejo. Verdejo, a grape almost exclusively found in the area of Rueda in Spain. Here, very old vines, which are gonna give some great concentration to the fruit. This wine, I'm gonna tell you, it's sneaky. It's gonna sneak up on you. When you first get it in the glass, it's probably not gonna show you a whole lot, but give it a little bit of time, and as it opens up, it's gonna really open up. It's gonna start to lean into very much of a Chardonnay sort of style here. It's got a really nice roundness up front. Just the right amount of oak. You might have to look for it a little bit, but you'll find just a little bit of oak in there. Those classic, again, almost Chardonnay-like baked apple, pear crostata, touch of sort of sweetness on the nose, but a dry wine, don't get me wrong. As it opens up on the palate, some floral notes, preserved lemon, a good mineral streak in this wine as well. Nice sort of slightly salty, nutty finish. Good long finish on this wine, very complete. So get it a chance to open up just a little bit and enjoy. Next up, we're heading up to the northeast of Spain. We're getting on towards Barcelona here in the area known as Terra Alta. We'll start with the 2019 Ludovicus Garnacha. This is 100% Grenache or Garnacha. What you're gonna get here is a very straightforward expression of this grape. Up front, nice mix of red and black cherry and berry fruits. A little bit of leafiness, slight herbal tone. Just a hint of spice on this wine. No real oak influence here. I would put this in the solidly mid-weight category for a red. The tannins here, the structure, very balanced. Nice acidity, balancing some already very fine tannins. Good, easy drinking all around table red at a really solid price. Next up, we've got a special treat for you. This is the 2018 Celer Pignol Mata Teresina red wine. What can I say, folks? This is a wine that you're gonna know immediately when you get it in the glass, something special happening here. The polish, the excellence of this wine is gonna show even just when you look at it in the glass. When you get it on your nose, immediately the deep concentration, the depth of this wine is gonna show on the nose immediately. Going to be a little slow to unwind, but as it does, you'll get into some great, dense, Black cherry, blackberry fruit, little hints of plum, nice spice detail here. As it wakes up, the oak treatment will start to come through and will add some lovely plushness to this nose. Good florality as well. So think vanilla, violets, gardenia, really lovely soft floral tones carrying all the way through in this wine. Darker edge to this wine as well. I was thinking about licorice, maybe even hints of tar. That is far from everything that's going on in this wine here. It's going to take its time to open up. I strongly suggest a good decant here, but everything in its place with this wine, when it gets there, after it gets on some air, it is gonna blow you away with the depth, the complexity, the interest, the balance, and the sheer finesse and polish in this wine. This is an absolutely special wine, limited quantity here, so get your share while the getting is good. The first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.